just wanted to revisit the oil catch can one more time. Extreme Terrain has a video. They sell this catch can. They have a video from one of their customers, I guess, that made a YouTube video installing it. Now that one went on to a V6 Toyota, but I want to bring up that in that video, that individual installed the lines backwards. The PCV uh, valve from the valve cover, that line has to come into any catch can on the side with the baffles. On the JNL OSC, which is Oil Separator Company, on their catch can, the side with the baffles is the side next to the O. Now, the catch can has all this same information printed on top of it, so you could actually spin this can around if you needed to, if uh, you wanted to point these the opposite way. The C would be on this side, the O would be over there on the can itself, even though on this bracket, it would be it would read this way. This one is correct, the can matches the bracket at this time on it. But what you want to make sure is that coming out of the valve cover, the, the PCV valve, positive crankcase ventilation, that that hose comes over and connects into the side with the baffle. And on the J and L, that is the O, the side with the O. If you connect it up backwards, it's not gonna work properly. You're gonna allow oil to get through and you've solved nothing at that point. J and L is very adamant that you, that you connect these lines properly so that the intake line, the incoming, goes through the baffle. And as it goes through the baffles, it separates the oil from the air and that allows droplets of oil to drop down to the bottom of the can and the air, which has had the oil separated from it, circulates uh, through the, into the can area here and comes out on this side by the C, which goes to the intake. So the side with the C on the top of the can, that goes to the intake manifold. And that is the, the air after it's separated the oil out of it. So as it runs in from the P, PCV valve, it goes in, goes through the baffles, that separates oil from the air. The air circulates past the baffle and comes back out of this side, which has no baffles in it on this side, and then continues on to the intake manifold and your oil remains in the can. So just want to make sure that people are know that they need to hook this can up properly in order for it to work proper. Uh, again, the J and L videos that they've done on some V6 Tacomas, they've done, I've seen two different videos and both of them, they were adamant that you have to make sure that the incoming goes in on the side of the O with the baffles from the valve cover and, and PCV valve and the, the line running over to the intake manifold which is exiting the oil can, gets connected to the C side because there's no baffles over there. But I just wanted to point that out that if you look, if you watch the Extreme Terrains video on this can, it's one of their customers that they copied a video from. <clears throat> that video is wrong. He's got the, the lines hooked up backwards. So his catch can is basically doing very little for him. He has solved nothing the way that he has it hooked up. I just wanted to point that out. You know, you can see mine, the uh, side with the O on it, goes down under the bracket, and then it hooks in to the back of the valve cover. The side with the C on it, it comes down around the brackets, goes down under, and connects to a tube on the back that runs over to the manifold. So this is the correct way to connect this oil separator can. So just wanted to bring that up. I hope this information helps anyone who's looking to install one of these on their vehicle so that they know that it, the incoming air has to come through the baffled side and it exits through the non-baffled side. Hope you enjoy the video and I hope it uh, brought some valuable information to somebody.